being aware of like cultural identity and self-identity, um, I think that's different. Uh, hopefully different than the work that, I, that I've been producing about Chinatown. Because I think, I think the work that I produce uh, uh, when it comes to Chinatown uh, definitely is grounded from my exploration of who I am, uh, where I fit in this, uh, in this landscape of Los Angeles. Um, but uh, I wanted to have it uh, discuss the community of Los Angeles. I, I wanted to kind of distance myself and my own uh, uh, conceptions of who I am and how I relate to this community, but rather how, uh, how, how people in Los Angeles relate, and people outside of Los Angeles and people throughout the world uh, relate to uh, an ethnic enclave like Chinatown in Los Angeles, or whether it be uh, New York or San Francisco. The, the postcard project that you're talking about is called Chinatown Stories, and there's been many different variations of that. I've, showed it, sh I've shown that piece in many, many spaces, museums, and galleries. Um, but I mean, I think it initially started off, um, you know, with my interest in Asian American studies and doing work with the Asian American community and the Chinese American community, and my uh, just me being an artist, we thought that Chungking Road would be the perfect place for us uh, to live and have a studio. I found a lot of vintage postcards on eBay of Chinatown. I started collecting them, purchasing them from anywhere between like uh, uh, a couple dollars to seventy dollars, um, and they're, uh, they they range the. the they range from postcards from old Chinatown uh, in the late 1800s all the way up to the ones that I were interested in were up to the 1950s uh, when they had the black and white uh, photographic based postcards. And so they depicted all these images, very oftentimes stereotypical images of Chinatown. Uh, and, I, and it made me realize that there's a whole industry of, uh, of or this culture of postcard collecting, which I had no idea. Um, and so from that, I decided to get the input of these postcard sellers. And I'd ask them, I'd email them, write them questions like, oh, what, you know, what do you think about Chinatown? If they're selling these Chinatown postcards, I, I was wondering what they're thinking about, what their, pers uh, their perspectives and their perceptions of what Chinatown was about. And so I actually had these postcard sellers on eBay write a paragraph uh, or two about uh, where they got the postcard, uh, how they came across it, and then what their thoughts of Chinatown. And which was expected, a lot of the people from outside of Los Angeles, outside of California, and outside of this country had uh, and perpetuated these very uh, racialized, stereotypical ideas about what Chinatown was about. Um, and so that's kind of, that, that initiated that, that initial project. And that, that's only one side of, or one idea of what make, makes Chinatown, I, I think, tick and makes Chinatown work, is that Chinatown, uh, Many aspects of Chinatown is based on a, on a tourist economy, and so um, although I was offended about what they were writing, how it was an exotic place full of mystery, um, I uh, throughout the process of the project I began to realize that it's actually important for the economy of Chinatown that people have these misperceptions of, of Chinatown, and so and so the 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 one component is of is how people think of Chinatown, uh, how people how outsiders perceive Chinatown of usually this sometimes this dangerous, mysterious place where they venture into and they can grab a meal. Uh, and I knew that people thought of Chinatown that way. And for me, it was a way of just kind of uh, realizing uh, and getting it down on paper that, yes, people do think of this and it's, it's not this perceived thing. It's a, it's a, real, uh, it's a real deal. Uh, but the other half of that is, for me, is that it's not only what Chinatown outsiders think of Chinatown, what tourists do when they come into Chinatown. Uh, it's, it's just as important about, well, what about the community in Chinatown? And so having a, a couple hundred postcards of people's perceptions of Chinatown who aren't even from Chinatown, I used a lot of the postcards I initially bought that were blank, uh, and I actually held several workshops in Los Angeles Chinatown, and I partnered with Castellar Elementary School, and I got the community here, people who worked here, people who lived here, uh, people who went to school here, and I got them to write down their perspectives of Chinatown. So uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, or, so those perspectives were like, oh, my mom and dad work in Chinatown, and Chinatown is my home, and I love Chinatown, or, or I eat uh, potato chips uh, on, on Chungking Road. And so uh, that was, for me, it's, it's a symbiotic relationship. Uh, I think you can't have the community here without the tourist economy to some extent, uh, and you can't have the tourist economy with the service sector or the community uh, here to kind of, uh, to, uh, to 
to make that happen. And so, um, so with that project, I had both perspectives, uh, the uh, two halves of the whole of people, the tur uh, people who came in as tourists or people who had these ideas uh, about this mythical place, uh, and then the people who uh, didn't necessarily believe in those ideas and had a completely other reality of Chinatown being their community and being their home. I wanted to show a broader perspective from both sides, and I put uh, 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 both perspectives together into a show. And it was difficult um, because the postcards uh, had two sides. Uh, the front side uh, was the, the photographs or the, the facade uh, of, of Chinatown or, or the kind of the myth of Chinatown. Uh, but the back side were actually the people's writings. Uh, and, and some of them, some of those writings perpetuated that myth. Uh, uh, some of those writings uh, were challenged that myth. Uh, and those that challenged it were usually the community members who, who lived here and were talking about their, their everyday lives in Chinatown. And so it was difficult to actually exhibit both those sides. Um, so I worked with a framer who really helped me out. And we had a, a kind of a shallow box uh, with a mirror in the back. And the postcard was mounted on the front part of that box, that glass, it was a clear glass uh, front. And so you're able to see um, the, the writings uh, on the postcard, uh, and then on the back, you'll see the backwards uh, reflection of the image uh, of, of Chinatown. Personally, um, I mean, I, I learned just because I, I had hundreds of people fill out those postcards, and so, I mean, I learned that, yes, people do have these really wacky, messed up stereotypes <laughs> about what Chinatown is as a place. Um, but. Personally, what was great is I, I got to meet a lot of the local t Chinatown community. I got to work with kids, uh, and they gave me a different perspective of, uh, of Chinatown for them as a home.